Hi guys, welcome to our superhero compilation. I'm Batman. Did we run out of wardrobe budget? We or? did. Okay. <laughs> we spent way too much last season. I feel like this makes you a little vulnerable to attacks, right? Fortunately, I have abs of steel. I feel nothing. Thanks for the free massage. <laughs> Honey, I think it's time we tell him he's not our biological son. We can't do that. Remember, we promised we would never reveal his real parents. I know, but I think it's starting to have a negative effect on our other son. Oh, no, that's just a little sibling rivalry. Are you sure? Of course I am. Boys, come down for dinner. How was your day, boys? Oh, it was all right. The president called and had me prevent another massive alien invasion, so. <laughs> oh, good job, Clark. <sighs> well, you know, it's the same thing every day for me, because I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are very proud of you. Oh, I also flew up into outer space and grabbed the moon and moved it over to shield us from a giant meteorite. Oh, good Ooh. for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you, Matt? Come on, tell us what you did today, sweetheart. I made the track team. What was that? I made the track team. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. oh, that is wonderful. Yeah, way to go, son. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> you must be proud. <laughs> My coach was impressed. He said, I'm really fast. Hey, do you guys remember when I was on the track team? The coach would shoot the starting gun and I'd race the bullet. I always won. <laughs> yeah, did you wear those lame tights to the meets too? Okay, boys, that's enough. Hey, Let's maybe just... when I'm done saving the earth, I can come fly on over to one of your meets because I can fly. Clark! Yeah. Well, at least I don't wear the worst disguise ever. Newsflash, everyone knows your secret identity. Yeah, no, duh. You think I'd want to do all those things and not take credit for it? I'm not an idiot like Batman. Oh, I wear the mask to protect my friend. Okay. Oh, hey, my parents no, that's, died. That's, that's, that's insensitive. Oh. Come on, yeah, Well, at least when he saves a city, he doesn't knock down every building in the process. Okay. That's a low blow. Maybe the S stands for stupid. Oh. Maybe you stand for stupid. Dang it! Why did you call on up here, little man, to show me how tough you okay. really are? No, there will be no hitting at the table. Don't worry, Mom. They don't call me Man of Steel for nothing. <laughs> oh. Your pithy slaps are like a summer's breeze. <gasps> Sweet Justice League, how are you hitting so hard? Kryptonite. Oh. That's it. I'm using my laser beam vision and giving you premature male pattern baldness. No, That's no. enough! No. Sit down! I didn't want to do this, but your mother's right. It's time we tell you the truth. Son, you're adopted. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you couldn't be my biological brother. Everything makes sense now. No, Matt, Clark isn't adopted. You are. What? What? <laughs> You're both superheroes too? Everyone on Earth's a superhero, except you. Oh! Coming around, the coolest superheroes in town. Brain Attack, he's the leader of the team, and yeah, he's just as smart as he seems. Steel Blade, he's a lethal force. Quick as a rabbit, strong as a horse. Rotting flesh, she has leprosy. The Justice Trio will blow your mind. Just step back and watch them fight crime. We're a big hit. Mind if I help? Need a hit? When it seems like evil is going to win, to discover the power that lies within. Going somewhere? Oh, 
That's my liver. Mind bomb. Make it rain. Yes. You're gonna get it. Teleport. <laughs> Punch of. Oh. I'm infected. Yay! <laughs> We can be leper friends. Justice Trio's coming around. The coolest superheroes in town. With your help, we can... Ah, oh, don't touch me! I told you to wear gloves. Ugh. They don't make gloves for my nose. Man, this movie is intense. I am literally glued to my seat. I know. What are you doing? Teaching you to be more cautious with your language, sir. Whenever someone misuses the word literally, it is my job to literalize their reality and restore balance to the universe. Now, how does it feel to be literally glued to your seat? Weird. Is this in any way comparable to the feeling you get when the excitement of a film makes you strongly desire to keep watching? No. Excellent. Balance restored! Thanks, Captain Literally. This book is so good, it'll literally fly off the shelves. Balance restore! <sighs> oh, we're married. I am literally on top of the world. <sighs> Where did you send him? I'm not sure, actually. I've never understood that phrase. Balance? Yeah, balance probably restore. Some cake. <laughs> it's a dead end. That guy and his thugs will be here any second. It's okay, Veronica. I let us here for a reason. I have friends as decoys wearing the bat suit. We should be able to escape during the confusion. Hurry. Hide. <laughs> I know you're in here, Batman. If you give yourself up now, I promise I won't kill the girl. Come on now. Don't be shy. There, see? That wasn't that hard now, was it? It depends. Is he the real Batman, or am I? I'm pretty sure it's him. You're significantly larger than Batman. Am I? Or is black just a very not slimming color? Black is a very slimming color. I'm the real Batman! Uh, you're smaller than I remember. That's just because you're really far away. I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. Yeah, that's a woman. Uh, could you at least tuck your hair into your suit? Uh, this isn't hair. This is just a very long neck beard. Because I'm Batman. No, I am Le Batman. That's a French dude. Pierre, was the scarf necessary? We. Oui. Sorry, not sorry. Everybody shut up! Because I'm Batman. Are you on stilts? You're already way taller than me. I thought we agreed we were all gonna be on stilts. Why? I don't know. We have the higher ground to kick them. Okay, enough. Now my boys and I are here to take out Batman, and we obviously know who it is. Not after we shuffle around! Guys, this is Who's the real Batman now? You should probably get some friends closer to your body type. Amateur. I'm so glad we got out of there. 
I knew this wig would pay off. Desperate times. Wait a second. Are you letting a woman get beaten Shh. to a po- Don't think about that right now. Gotham needs us! Should I hail a cab? What? Should I hail a cab? Are you crazy? This time of night, get an Uber! You can Venmo me back! And don't even worry about it. Gotham. <laughs> Sweetheart, um, we need to talk. Okay. We found this pamphlet in your room. I, I can explain. Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters? <laughs> Sweetheart, why didn't you tell us you were a mutant? I don't know. <laughs> I thought maybe you wouldn't love me anymore. Wouldn't <gasps> love you anymore? Sweetheart, we couldn't be more proud. Really? So I can go to Xavier's school? Um... Well, unfortunately, it's very expensive and private. So we've looked into some other options for mutant schools. Really? There's more than one school for mutants? Indeed there is. What? <laughs> I am Professor Zlankman. These are two of my students, and we are here to invite you to enroll in Zlankman's Community College for Semi-Gifted Youngsters. <laughs> Mutant Community College? Really, Mom? Just give them a chance. You don't even know what they can do. Allow me to demonstrate my powers, young lady. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Your power is sneezing? Yes, and every time I do, a random person in the world dies. What? Oh my goodness, that's horrible! Perhaps, but it's very effective when fighting my enemies. Effective? There's like a se one in seven billion chances it'll even affect your enemies. Not in the spring. When my hay fever acts up, I sneeze 12, 13 times. Divide seven billion by 13 and whoo! Them bad guys start to sweat. <laughs> I'm not going to this school. Okay, hold on. I, I'm sure this gentleman has a pretty cool mutation. Yeah. You better believe it, bub. Actually, you do look really familiar. Are you that angry guy whose bones are filled with adamantium? No, that's my cousin. My bones are filled with helium. What? That's why I have cement-filled boots. Otherwise, I'd float away like an angry balloon. So. Well, do you at least have claws? Better. Feather claws. <laughs> They usually always come out of my body, so. Are you crazy? Do you want some innocent Chinese or Indian person to die? That's not racist, it's just mathematically probable. Yeah. Ooh, your school is full of crazy people, okay? The only thing you have in common with Professor X is that you're both bald. Uh, I am not bald. <laughs> okay, receding slightly, maybe. But these luscious locks are here to stay. <laughs> well, I bet you can't even... Are you, are you okay? You okay? You it's okay? the hair. It has that effect on women. <laughs> are you singing up on our teenage oh, daughter? I get it. I bet you can't even read mine. You're right, because I have a much greater power. I can interpret people's minds by carefully observing their body language. <laughs> and I can tell that you, young lady, are extremely happy about the prospect of attending my school. Hey, this guy isn't even a real mutant. Uh, yes, I am. Prove it. <laughs> See? Hey, 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 only 49% of the population can do this, so technically, that makes me a mutant! <gasps> it's a miracle. That's messed up, bub. You lied to us, Professor Z, and you will pay for that deception. Okay, how about we just look into some online mutant courses? Yeah, I heard Jean Grey is running University of Phoenix now. <laughs> See? Asian.
Let me show you a place where everything's wonderful. We never lose a girlfriend. Where you gotta be hot if you wanna fight crime. My hair, my abs. Sometimes life gets dangerous when there's a new bad guy. But we're not scared, and I'll tell you why. Jarvis, drop a beat. Avengers, where everything's alright. You know the bad guy the moment you see him. Always a man and always wise. That offends me. When justice day comes round, ah. you know we'll be preferred. Cause there's no place as perfect as the Avengers world. Hey, Let me show you a world that's always appropriate. Cause I got my special stretchy pants. Where the only romance I want is one day. And he doesn't even get it. Where guys with goatees are friendly and science geeks are buzz. Hmm. No one needs a secret identity except Black Widow who did some bad stuff. Shh. There's no world like the Avengers where there's not much to avenge. The radiation poisoning's a good thing and your wounds are magically mend. And we may think on heroes whose names you never civilians who are all in mortal danger but you never really see any die. A world where Tony Stark created Ultron cause things are so perfect that we gotta make our own bad guy. And yes there are some problems with S.H.I.E.L.D. Not this S.H.I.E.L.D. But their cover ups are sloppier than what's beneath this pack. Gross. So feast your eyes on a world so groovy that a female superhero can get her own movie. Guys come on you all have your own. Cause there's no world like the Avengers where no one's really dead. Back Bucky Bonds, Ghost and Loki and Fury And fans don't feel misled And this movie's not out But we've all signed for a third So you can bet no one's dying in the Avengers world Cause you can bet nobody's dying in the Avengers world Hey, Jason. Hey, Stephen. How's it going? Yeah, great to see you, buddy. You too. And your new wife. Congratulations, <laughs> you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Sorry I never made it to the wedding. I'm literally the worst friend ever, right? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Balance restored! No, I'm totally serious. I mean, I was literally beat red. <laughs> Shade, beat red. Balance, restore! Today on Citizens Court, this is the plaintiff, Batman. He says he worked for the defendant for about a week, quit, and wasn't paid. Now he wants what's coming to him, including restitution for damages. He's suing him here and now for the money he's rightfully owed. <laughs> this is the defendant, Superman. He said the plaintiff was supposed to fight crime and save the world. The guy hardly works, and if you don't work, you don't get paid. He also said Batman damaged property and charged things to the company. So if anybody is owed money, it's him. The defendant is countersuing for $1.2 million. All rise for the Honorable Judge Marilyn Dredd. You may be seated. We now open the case of Batman versus Superman. Batman will hear from you first. Well. Superman hired me to save Gotham, and I worked super hard. Did you save Gotham? I did. So why didn't you pay him? Because he let an entire city block get destroyed. Oh, like you've never done that before. <laughs> <coughs> Hypocrite. Well, he also made numerous unauthorized purchases using business funds. Whoa, those were all necessary for the mission. 
How is every flavor of cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory necessary for the mission? I had to make sure the Joker wasn't poisoning them. Did you have evidence that he was? I didn't have evidence that he wasn't. Okay, uh, Batman, you also claim damages? Yes, you see, I was fighting crime in the sewers of Gotham and I broke my back. Oh. So you lost a fight. Uh, well, now, it was more of a draw. You see, I broke my back, he strained himself breaking my back. Uh, <laughs> but it required a very expensive surgery to repair it. I have the medical bills right here. Um, that was a pre-existing condition. That did not happen on the clock. Oh no, talking about it is making it flare up. Oh, it hurts. Oh, come on. Oh. He's obviously faking it. And why didn't you come to me? I have laser vision. I could have literally fused your vertebrae in the blink of an eye. Yeah, can laser vision repair what you did to my car? Okay. What happened to your car? Well, Superman and I got in an argument and then he keyed the Batmobile. <laughs> Where was the Batmobile when this was happening? Um, it was, uh, uh... It was at Wayne Manor. <sighs> what, wait, what was your car doing at Bruce Wayne's house? I was helping him move a couch. Huh. <laughs> uh, can Mr. Wayne testify to corroborate your story? Yeah, can he? Yeah, I mean, no, I, he's a busy guy, but I'm sure he can. Oh, hello, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on. It's true. <laughs> Batman was helping me move a couch. Batman is an upstanding citizen and honest guy. Superman is a total jerk face. Your Honor, we can obviously see what's going on here. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you, Bruce. Oh, man, what a handsome guy, right? Yeah. All right, so Bruce Wayne has been hiding under that table this entire time. Yes. Uh, fair enough. Okay, let's uh, hear your closing arguments. Batman, you first. All right, let me just get them from my briefcase. Yeah, why don't you have Bruce getting for you? Uh, okay. I will do that. Just hold on. Hey, Bruce, can you hand me those up? Oh, oh, thank you, Bruce. Your Honor. All right. Oh, oh the, the, these aren't my closing statements. These are my poems. Okay. But that's okay, I'll just read them. Oh. Rachel is red. Joker is green. No, okay. Sometimes okay, in Gotham, I fight look. people who no. are mean. Okay, Superman. Superman, you go. Thank you, Your Honor. It is clear to me today that wait, wait, wait. Batman... Has anyone ever told you that with your glasses, you look like Clark Kent? <laughs> wait a minute. I'd like to drop all charges. You have a twin brother? Why didn't you... Come on, wait. Superman, I thought you were strong. He can't even open a door. Dang it, neither can I. Okay. okay, we're throwing this case out. So, if we stick to the plan, we should be able to narrowly save the people of Metropolis from the evil aliens again. All right. All right? Good. Great. So we'll take off in five minutes. Any questions? No. <clears throat> Excuse me, fellas. No, uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Ouch. I came as soon as I heard. Last I checked, I was part of the Justice League, too. How did you find out about this meeting? We didn't post it on Pinterest. How many times do we have to go through this? I am just as much of a superhero as you guys are. Really? We thought by now you just want to teach second grade or something. <laughs> okay, can we stop with the generalizations, please? Frankly, it's pretty sexist. I'm not sexist. Being sexist is wrong. Yeah. Right. And being wrong is for women. Don't you want me to help you? There's going to be a giant explosion, okay? It's gonna be really dangerous. Yeah. Okay, who here can withstand a nuclear blast? Yeah, Hey, me. hey! <laughs> I have other skills. Skill one, my parents had a lot of money. They died, I inherited it. <laughs> Skill two, Alfred. <laughs> Skill three, my weapons are way cooler than yours. They're shaped like male bats. 
What? Batman. Yeah. Okay, my weapons are awesome. The lasso of truth is legit. Oh, that's a weapon? What else would I use it for? Dry our clothes on it? I have an invisible jet. Yeah, so no one can see what a bad driver you are. That's a good plan. We just can't take you seriously with your tiara and bracelets. Uh, they're bulletproof cuffs. But they only cover like two inches of your wrist. Yeah, that's all I need, Batman. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's all I need, Batman. Oh, look at me. I get my armor from Forever 21. <laughs> oh. 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 Say that again. I'm seeing bats. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Batman, I shouldn't have been that hard on you. I'm sorry. I can't remember anything. Okay. Ooh. I mean, okay. We're back in the yeah. game. Yeah. All right. Here we go. She caught me off guard, guys. She probably saw this little kid headed to us and uh, in trouble while well, she was headed to a shoe sale and her adrenaline kicked in. That's what happened. You want me to do it again? No! <laughs> Look. I don't know how they do things where you come from. Where do you come from? You don't even know my backstory? Yeah, of course we do. You were, you had a poisoned apple from your evil stepmother who went to a ball and saved you from a prince and a fairy. No, Clark, Clark, you're thinking of Catwoman. Oh. <laughs> no, okay, guys, we are the Justice League. No matter how many people we save, there is no justice without equality! Testify, sister. Yeah. Testify. She makes a great point. We have to treat her as an equal, or we'll have to change our name. Um, can we not do that? I, uh, I just printed out these business cards. Okay, yeah, there so, you go. Uh, that right. That'd Fine. be annoying. The aliens are here. Give me an hour, I'll go get ready. <laughs> Terrific combo! Time's almost up. Dang it. Play one with... Oh, do you see that high score? Yes. I am literally the last man standing. Okay. Ugh. Not a man. Dude, what are you doing? Just... Oh. Last man step. Balance restore! Subscribe to the channel of Studio C. More of the compilation is coming up. Let's yeah. subscribe. Do it now. Do it. We managed to pick a few suspects up off the street based off the description you gave us earlier. Tall, male, dark clothing. Right. Can you describe for me again the situation? Yeah, I was just sitting in my car when this dark shadowy figure pulled me out of it and then proceeded to headbutt me. All right. Well, if we've got him here, we'll make sure he pays for this. Blake, send him in. All right, you all know the drill. When your number is called, step forward and repeat the phrase you've been given, understand? Number one, step forward.
I'm Batman. <laughs> number two, step forward. I'm Batman. Hey, number three, step forward. Number three. Number three, repeat the phrase, please. Really? You want me to say it? You want me to say it? Just say the words. Yeah, come on, man, I got things to do. Fine. I'm Batman. <laughs> there. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. What? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you distinctly changed your voice. No, I didn't. Uh, you did. I'm pretty sure we all heard it. Yeah, so stop whining and say it again. Guys, I'm Batman. <laughs> again, please. I'm Batman? <laughs> again. I'm Batman. <laughs> Quit messing around. I gotta take my kids to soccer practice in the morning. I don't want to be here all night. Now say the phrase. Yo soy hombre del mesielago. <laughs> In English, please. What? Just because I have a little class? Number three, you have no class. You're a lunatic in hockey pads. I'm not wearing hockey pads! <laughs> Why does everyone think I wear hockey pads? Do I look like a goalie? No. I'm much more than that. I'm whatever Gotham needs me to be. And that is? I'm Batman. That's him. Hey! You again. Natalie, isn't it literally ironic how we run into each other every day? Yeah, it's really... Good sir! Allow me to define ironic for you, fellow. There's verbal irony, dramatic irony, and situational irony, which is the one you speak of. That's the incongruity of the actual sequence of events and the normal or expected outcome of a sequence of events. So when you say that running into your friend every day is ironic, it's not ironic, it's just interesting. Irony taught! What? Who are you? I'm Captain Irony, here to educate the masses on the use of the word irony. Hipsters love me. I have always wanted to know how to use the word irony. I never really met anybody sh that knows- Wait, so you don't even have the power to restore balance, and your catchphrase is irony taught? A captain without superpowers. Now that's ironic. No, it's not, believe me. Ironically, sometimes I think it'd be nice to not have powers. Did you just hear yourself? You just put the word ironically in front of a totally unrelated sentence. That's like saying, ironically, the ocean is neat. You know what's ironic? A captain who's a woman. Am I right? <laughs> oh, that's so funny to me. Really? No, I was being ironic. Irony talked. Well, Captain Irony, I'll have you know, I got my real powers from a nuclear blast. Yes, oh! <laughs> who are you? The nuclear ninja. I just punch people who mispronounce the word nuclear. How are you doing, sir? Well, despite your best efforts, I'm still doing really good. <laughs> are you doing good? Or are you doing well? Good and well are different! Oh. oh. Oh, come on, guys! You're even more ridiculous than the nuclear ninja dude! <laughs> Had to be done. All right, gentlemen. Radar shows that the perimeter has been breached. Any minute now, the secret agent known only as Lady Shadow will fall right into our trap. After tonight, she won't be bothering our organization anymore. This is it. Get into positions. <laughs> Lady Shadow. Looks like you've been expecting- We've been expecting, dang it. And here I am, unarmed. Ah, well that's gonna make it difficult to get this, isn't it? The missile defense secrets. Indeed. Now we're bringing you in. I'd advise you not to make trouble. What's the fun in that? <laughs> Try not to hurt her too much, boys. I want her alive. Have it your way. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> What's the matter, boys? You forget how to fight? Lady Shadow, uh... Are you sure you should be exerting yourself right now? Are you scared? Well, yes. Not surprised I often have that effect. I'm not sure you're having the effect that you think you are. 
What's that supposed to mean? Uh, well, maybe you just like to come along peacefully. We can offer you a nice bed, maybe an obstetrician. If you're trying to distract me, it's not going to work, okay? I'm gonna take out each one of your men and then save you for last. Okay, get her, but gently. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, oh no, yeah. Ah, uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ninja star. Oh, 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 oh God. Okay. Coming yeah, for you. St uh, uh, <laughs> that's not advisable. We'll, we'll just... One more time. <laughs> Premature late. Ah. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was the longest fight ever. Okay, maybe you should sit down. Maybe you should! What? Uh, okay, Lady Shadow. <laughs> Please. I just. Le okay, nice dodge. <sighs> okay, I don't want to hurt you, Lady Shadow. Suits me just fine. Uh, no. Would okay, you just. Have it your way, I get it. I'll do this. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Is there like zero oxygen on this dock or is it just me? Okay, you need to rest. I could really go for some hot wings right now. <sighs> but not until I get that disc. <laughs> no match for my cat-like reflexes, I see. Lady Shadow, okay. Do you... <laughs> you... Okay. You won this round. Where's the bathroom? Yes, back Thanks. <laughs> Please, great man, just let me go. I don't have anything that you want. That's where you're wrong, Missy. <laughs> What are you talking about? Ironically, working in my laboratory, the nuclear weapon is finally complete after it had been working good in my laboratory for hours. I am literally tickled thinking about it. <laughs> Who's there? Captain Literal. Captain Irony. Nuclear Ninja. The good. And Wild Duo. Duo. And Dangling Participle did. Everything was wrong with that sentence, so wait. Who are you? Ding Wu Participle did. Everyone's heard of him, but no one actually knows what he does. Whatever. You broke all the rules, so now you're gonna pay. There was nothing ironic about the sentence you just used. You just tacked the word ironically in front of it. Irony talk! You said good, when you should have said well. Good and well are different! <laughs> there! Literally tickled! Balance restored! Bro! Your participles were dangling all over the place. Dangle, mangle. Seriously? Is that all you guys do? <laughs> you guys are pathetic. If you ever mispronounce the word nuclear again, you will suffer. Because I'll punch you again. Wait, I think he's still conscious back there. Aren't you gonna untie me? Oh. Yeah, we're not really those kinds of superheroes. But if you ever have an egregious grammatical error, we'll be there. <laughs> He's waking up! Thanks. It's been confirmed, she's arriving. Okay, double the guard at the gate and make sure to secure all the important items. Didn't mean to interrupt the party. Lady Shadow, still after the missile defense secrets, I see. Huh, thought you were dead. Sorry to disappoint, we were undercover. We? Is that a baby? Shh, keep it down. You'll wake Baby Shadow. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
At least she's not pregnant anymore. What oh. is she? <laughs> she part rabbit? Time to dance, boys. How exactly do you plan? Baby Shadow, no! Oh! 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 The child's skeletal structure is still forming. Oh! Oh! Be careful. Having a baby has only made her stronger and more unstable. Oh, she's pulling out a gun. No, no, don't shoot, don't shoot. It's just formula. You really think I'd give my child formula? I don't know. You had her dropped from a helicopter. She rolled out according to plan. I got her. Oh, <laughs> baby Shadow burp. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It burns. Oh. It's changing time! Oh. 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 It's in my eyes! <laughs> Cloth diapers are not absorbent! <laughs> I'm out, man! I'm out! You should have called for backup. I should have called Child Protective Services. Thanks for the disc. What? I thought it was right in here. Wait, but how did you... It's Baby Shadow. That's her trademark. I fear for that child. Baby Shadow, no! So, I know I'm just your substitute but I plan on changing each one of your lives through literature. Herman Melville. Man, was... don't come in here and act like you know what it's like to be in high school. This ain't Dangerous Minds, or Freedom Riders, or Take the Lead, or Lean on Me, or Blackboard Jungle, All right. or Music of the Heart, or Speed Boy, or Sister Act Two, or Pocahontas. <laughs> well, uh, hold on, just give this a chance, guys. The thing that I love about Herman Melville is when you read his stuff, his characters literally come to life. What? Balance restore! Damn. That's it. Oh, man. I hate the sprig. Yeah. My allergies are awful. It's literally like having a flaming porcupine shoved up my nose. <laughs> wait, wait. Ah! Balance restore! Excuse me, I'm here to pick up my weapons and hardware for my next mission. Good evening, Mr. Blonde. Who are you? I was expecting Q. I'm S. I'm Q's replacement. He's on assignment with P&T. Pity. Hmm. Well, you won't feel that way once you've seen what I've cooked up for you. Very well, let's get started. I have a mission in five minutes. Certainly. First, we have your gun. This looks standard issue to me. You are mistaken. A sensor was put into the handle that can recognize your fingerprints, so only you can shoot it. Remarkable. Even better, it can distinguish your emotions, so it can only be fired when you're feeling calm. Pardon? You must be feeling calm and collected to fire it. Why would you make that for a spy who's under constant pressure and danger? I'm never calm. <laughs> well, I assumed you wouldn't want to shoot anyone when you're feeling cross. <laughs> That's the perfect time to shoot someone. Well, aren't you disturbing? <laughs> Fine. Uh, just. We'll press on, then. Yes, minor oversight, I'm sure. This is a fascinating little gadget. If you click that button there, it can detect the mobile phone service of your enemies. If you click it again, it'll send them a text that says, Jim Blonde is coming. Get out your guns and hide. <laughs> nice flair, right? I'm confused. Does it also detect their location so that I can find them? No, it just sends the text. Okay. Well, let's keep moving. What does this do? Oh, yes, that one is good. If you press that button there and put it in your pocket, it makes you give off a very foul odor. Why would I want that? Your enemies will hate it. They'll be wretchedly uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't want to make them uncomfortable. I want to kill them. Oh, yes, then you'll love this. 
This is a simple poison. Three drops of this and your opponent will be filled with a murderous rage. And then they'll die? No. So they're filled with murderous rage, but I have to remain entirely calm to be able to shoot them. Yes, that made more sense on paper. Okay. Let's just keep moving. What do you have? Okay, <clears throat> the queen's face mask, so you can impersonate her at any moment. But I'm a man. Okay. Um, a formula that makes your entire body glow in the dark. Why would I? I want to remain hidden. Okay, an iPhone that explodes when it's near your face. Good glory! <laughs> Just a, here, a simple dagger, something I know will come in handy. Actually, that's candy. <laughs> okay, S. Just one useful item would be lovely. Okay, fine. Just pull your jets. Um, let me see what else I have. <laughs> Aha! That's an orange. What is it? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Well, Mr. Blonde, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't meet impossible expectations. I think you're being a bit of a dandy prat. I'm not being a... <laughs> you know what? Just give me the parachute. What parachute? Yes, I meant to jump out of a plane in two minutes. Oh, yes. Instead of a parachute, I made you these. <laughs> they haven't been tested on humans yet, but the orange fared just fine. Are you mental? Actually, the orange exploded. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Just give it to me. Thank you. <clears throat> this is Agent 9 to base. The threat has been neutralized with faulty hardware. Mr. Blonde will be dead within the hour. <laughs> you know, I still haven't left the room yet, right? <laughs> Never mind, I failed. <laughs> Like our dirty senator is right on time. Time for disguises. Mine's too big to be convincing. Consider yourself lucky. Maybe we should switch. I, I don't know why we thought that would work. Let's try this again. Ah! This person has the weirdest body shape. It's like a triangle. Also, I couldn't get these small pants off. I didn't even try. Ah! Finally. Did you just knock out a hobo and steal his clothes? Okay, I couldn't see. I don't have my glasses. But you can smell. This coming from a man in a woman's top. What? Uh. Aha! Nope. I just knocked you out and took the hobo clothes. Do I need glasses? At least this fits. Mine too. Should we just go in these? Ah, ah! You know what they say, thousand times the charm. Let's go. Ah! Wow, I can't believe these uniforms actually fit. Let's go. The best part about this stew is, you can't go wrong with the add-ins. I've put in mushrooms, asparagus, even sausage. I can literally put anything into this stew, and I'll still love it. And you will too. Actually, it's not that...
Balance restored! I can't believe she broke up with me. I am literally crushed, Mal. I just wish I was having a better day. Alex, restore! It's official, everyone. The word literally now also means not literally. That is to say, metaphorically. Good show, everybody. Congratulations. What have you done? Captain, we simply define the words. <laughs> Captain, it's too late. There's literally nothing you can do. Oh, no? When the world realizes it now has a word that means what it means, but literally doesn't mean what it means, things will change. When the people no longer bow to the yoke of Oxford, things will change. And when Rob Lowe's character finally leaves Parks and Rec, things will change and I will be there to lead them tirelessly, day and night until this wrong has been righted. Or I can literally set your cars on fire. Do you mean literally or literally? He meant literally. Jason Bourne. At long last, we've worked very hard to find you. You're not in charge of Treadstone. Who are you? KGB? NSA? DMV? No, no. We're just CIA human resources. <laughs> Frankly, Jason, your behavior has gotten out of control, so HR decided to intervene. Hey, is that Jason Bourne? Yeah, we finally found him. I got a big problem with you, man. I work in accounting. Do you know what percentage of the CIA's budget is spent trying to track you down? Huh? Do you have any idea? 1%? 50! 50%. 50%! You heard about the rover we landed on Mars, right? Yeah. Trick question, there is no rover. In fact, Mars isn't even real. We just made it all up to cover up the $2 trillion we've spent trying to apprehend you. Is this who I think it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I got a bone to pick with you, son. I'm in charge of workplace safety. Do you have any idea what the biggest cause of injury is for CIA employees? Paper cuts. It's you! <laughs> you, Jason Bourne, you've killed people with pens and fire extinguishers and oscillating fans. Who knows how many people you could kill with this snow globe? You better keep that away from yeah, me. Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> we even made this pamphlet, How Not to Be Killed by Jason Bourne. <laughs> but they were discontinued after you used one to kill somebody. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. One Man Army himself. Did you know that it's your fault that we can't take nail clippers on planes anymore? Yeah, someone figured that since you once killed a man with just a crayon, that nail clippers would be like a tactical nuke for someone like you. It was a crayon wrapper, actually. Okay. And you know what? What about the liquids? How come I can only take three ounces of shampoo on a plane? Because you once managed to drown a man in four ounces of Listerine. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> See those cranes out that window? They're adding a new wing to the Bethesda Medical Center named after you. For my years of dedicated service, yes. Yes, and we're so very grateful. No, you idiot! Because everyone in that wing is someone who you maimed with, I don't know, an origami assault rifle or whatever mayhem you'll dream up next. Hey, everyone, you'll never guess who's in here. It's Jason Bourne. Yeah, yeah. Jason oh, Bourne oh, wow. is this guy. Here. Our health insurance premiums are through the roof because yeah. of you. Yeah, you know the government tapping thing? Yeah, we were looking for you. Yeah, and our agents can't get visas to India anymore, Jason. And I need my curry! <laughs> Oh my word, look out, he's got a piece of pocket lint! Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. How? He stole my snow globe. Subscribe to our channel so that we can afford better costumes or costumes, period. So that I can defend myself. <laughs> like it too and share. It's getting red. Ow! Oh.